Hi, Tony Vera here. What was amazing to me was, Bill Rosendahl had so many visitors towards the last of his days. Mike Bonham came over every day and read him fan mail from Facebook and also played Citizens of the Sun, a favorite song by Bill Rosendahl on his iPhone. And a woman who worked for him came over and played his favorite Hawaiian song. Just amazing. We're gonna miss him. Here's the video. The uh, uh, LA Press Club, which you helped recreate and keep alive, is creating a new award, the Bill Rosendahl Public Service Journalism Award. It's fabulous. Uh, and Lori Hazelkamp from Pacific Palisades just called me, and she's working to make sure that Equality California and Lambda and those groups all do special awards for you this year. Uh, Nicole Vick says, I have the honor of serving with you on the newly formed City Health Commission with Commission President Rosendahl. Uh, your presence is missed and I love you. Uh, S.J. Harper says, love you madly, Bill Rosendahl. You're one of the few great men I have ever known. You're right up there with Stanley Scheinbaum. Um, now, I got a message here from a woman named Faith. Um, her real name is Paige Chase. It's Herb Chase's daughter. Herb from Santa Monica. She said, I remember going with my dad to Adelphia where he proudly supported you and the meaningful discussions you facilitated. I remember you and your joyful spirit at our Christmas party wearing your rooster tie. I remember that time. <laughs> I remember you at the holiday events at the Venice Canals, sharing your passion and enthusiasm, as you so often do. Mm -hmm. And of course, I remember you standing up at my dad's memorial to support me when my family didn't. I will never forget that. You are a progressive after my own heart. And you have the courage to speak up loudly and proudly for what you believe in. My dad was the same way, and it was so easy to see why he appreciated you. He was very discerning and selective when it came to people's characters. His stamp of approval was not easy to come by. So to have it, as you did wholeheartedly, says a lot about how special you are. Few people have displayed the bravery you have in speaking up for so many worthy causes, and I have great respect for you. You will continue to be an inspiration to me and to all those you have touched. I wish you great peace and love and fulfillment and know that you have been of great service and have given a voice to those who need it the most. With great respect and care, and until we meet again, Paige Chase, Herb Chase's daughter. All right, that was a beautiful one. to a lot of people, Bill. A guy named John Listen. Rush Gomez says, My wife and I are longtime Venice residents and we thank Bill for all his tireless work for our community, especially his efforts on behalf of the homeless and for affordable housing. His presence at Venice Neighborhood Council meetings was always energizing and inspiring, wishing him and his family lots of love and peace. Literally hundreds of messages like that.
citizen of sun Every time I see the flowers grow And I know they too would like me to know I'm a citizen of sun I'm a citizen of sun Every time I feel that roads would call Every time they ask where do I belong at all I'm a citizen of sun Children of sun Having a good time on my wall Heeding my call, heeding my call, heeding my call citizen of sun Every time I raise a glass of wine With the friends of mine, two friends of mine I'm a citizen of sun Children of sun Having a good time on my wall Heeding my call Heeding my call Heeding my call Citizen of sun Every time I see it in your eyes Even if it doesn't sound too wise I'm a citizen of sun I'm a citizen of sun Every time I see it in the sky Raise your eyes if you still wonder why I'm a citizen of sun The heart of Bill Rosendahl knows absolutely no bounds, and it has guided him, and it is his greatest legacy. Bill, I thank you for everything, and I absolutely love you. But then when I came to the final moment of dealing with my situation, I came to this religion. Love yourself, love your neighbor as yourself, and don't judge. And I can tell you that's an umbrella for everybody because all human beings have a right to, to have dignity and respect. And we all are family. We all are brothers and sisters. We all live together in the context of this earth. It's our earth. And if we can get along with each other and get with each other, what good is it?